Okay, so we probe the impact pipe. We got a 45 resin in here. Suction cup, suction cup. Make sure your suction cups are flat. Lower the front. Center yourself over the impact point. Level. The bar you want level with the windshield. The one pointing down or pointing up. Pull a vacuum. Pressure. And you can see even a brake that bad fills very fast with the Ultron quick turn injector. Being a, a large bullseye, at a large bullseye, so normally on a large bullseye, we'll do two vacuums. And you can see it now sucking more, more air out. In a few seconds. Now what I wanted to show you on this is how to flex. You see this leg right here? Now it's partially filled. When you can just let this sit for a minute or so, and that will probably fill by itself. But if it's stubborn and it doesn't fill, this is called flexing. And what you do is you push down on the glass, and you'll see the leg flex, meaning it'll turn dark and refract. And then you'll you, you want to press at the base. And you'll watch the resin start to flow up the crack. This is called flexing a leg. And you can see, once you let go, the leg is gone. That's called flexing. That's the second motor skill you need to do windshield repair. The first one being how to drill and tap a bullseye. And the second motor skill is flexing legs. And you can see that leg is totally filled. This is also how you check to see if legs of a star break are filled. You can go around each leg and flex it to make sure it's filled. When you have really stubborn legs or you have a star burst, we have another tool called the star leg flexor. And that one will flex it for you so you don't have to do it by hand. You can see this was a really bad one, but still, we're done with it. And now we 